possible storage. It took 6 GB of storage, 20 GB, 110 GB. So what is this? In this video, we will be discussing about that. So next, I will show you how you can remove it from the video. So let's get started. Possible storage. Think it as a deletion, which means these are the files that are stored on your iCloud but not on your system and can be downloaded from the cloud if needed. And also, these are the files that are used along the road, which likely to be removed from your system. And if you run out of space, then the system will automatically delete the storage and this purgeable storage is created because of the feature called Optimize Storage, which you can find it by opening about this Mac and click on Storage and click on Manage. Here you can find the Optimize Storage. So now I'll show you how you can delete this purgeable storage from your Mac using an application called Discrill, which you can download it from the link given below. Once you have downloaded the file, open it, drag the application and drop into applications folder. Once the file is copied, open the application in the launch pad and click on open. Now click on agree and continue. Again click on continue, again click on continue, now click on get started. It will ask you to enter your password, so enter the password. Now click on erase free space, now click on ok. Now select your disk and click on erase free space. This will erase your disk with zeros so that all your purchable storage will be removed. This will take up to 10 to 15 minutes. So I am fast forwarding this. Once done, click on done. Now you can check your purgeable storage by going to disk utility. And here you can see the purgeable storage is 128 bit. So that's how you can delete purgeable storage on your Mac. And that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.